Hey guys, Andrew here, CMP Attachments. Today we're gonna go over the operation of a grapple that only has a single auxiliary function. So you got two lines going to the grapple and then you have the optional selector valve. We're over here at JK Landscapes. They're nice enough to let us borrow a machine. So let's take a look inside the cab. All right, so on this John Deere 60G, here's our factory hydraulics. So when we got the grapple hooked up, this is normally gonna clamp, clamp, open. And then we have added the diverter push button to the left joystick. So when we hit and hold this and then run our factory hydraulics, now it's gonna rotate left and right. The biggest thing that we wanna address is that when we're done rotating, we let off and then we release our diverter button. Now we can go back to clamp. So now when we're clamping, we let off, push our diverter button, and now we can go over to rotate. So now we're gonna go over and grab the rock get over the top of it and we'll clamp onto it let off my clamp and now when I want to rotate I'm gonna go ahead and push the left button and now I can rotate when I get over here and I'm ready to ready to set it in place rotate rotate and stop with my right thumb and now I've let off the left thumb. Now I can go ahead and release the clamp. Do it one more time. Clamp, pick it up, left push button. Now I can rotate. Let off my rotate, let off my selector valve. Go ahead and set her in place and let her loose. The reason it is so important to let off the factory hydraulics before pressing the selector valve button is so that you're not jamming pressure into the hydraulic motor. Once you neutralize the factory hydraulics and then release the button for the selector valve, that's allowing the motor to come back to a neutral pressure, not leaving pressure on the shaft seal, creating premature motor failure.